everyone, today we're going to unbox and review a meal delivery kit from HelloFresh. So a couple things before we get started. First of all, this is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money and wanted to test it out and figured I'd go ahead and make a video on it. And this is a blind review. I've never used any meal kit before. I've never used HelloFresh. And aside from unpacking really quickly to store in a fridge last night, um, I haven't really looked around at the packaging or anything um, in the box yet. So I've seen a little sneak peek when I stored it in the fridge, but this is all new to me. So we're gonna go through, unbox, and then I'm gonna make one of the meals, and then we're gonna taste it, and I'm gonna give you my feedback on what I think about the meal delivery kit. So you might be asking yourself, Carrie, you love to cook. Why do you need a meal delivery kit? And you're right, I do love to cook, but sometimes the hardest part about cooking is just deciding what to eat. And as we've been home over the last many months, eating all of our meals here, it's become kind of exhausting some days trying to decide what's in the pantry, what should I eat, we get busy during the day, we're both working. I'm working on my blog and on my videos and Sean's job is really busy right now. So sometimes it's six o'clock at night before we start figuring out what we wanna eat for dinner. And that doesn't even include lunches. Now we have to make lunches every day for ourselves um, and we're trying not to do takeout too much. So I thought that this could be a really cool thing to test. Also, honestly, I had insomnia one night, and as I was scrolling on my phone at 2.30 in the morning, I saw a really great promo code. Um, so this box for the first week cost me $32 for um, six portions, so three different meals, six portions, and that came out to about $5.30 each. You really can't get takeout for that amount of money. I figured, why not try it out clear up a little brain space around trying to figure out what we're gonna have for a few meals a week. Um, so let's get to it. So like I said, I did take this out. It came yesterday and I did not have time to film. So I took everything out, put it in the fridge, but this is how it came in this box. Um, and it comes with an insulation here. Man. Well, this is a bummer. The rest, one of the recipe cards, I think, is just stuck to the top. That's gonna make it very difficult to use. So that um, we get a recipe card for one of the recipes. We got a little gift, this little probiotic vanilla granola bar. So just a little sample in there. And this looks like just a coupon pack. Yeah, I'll look at that later. We also have the other recipe cards. So um, part of when I was going through and choosing my meals at 2.30 in the morning, um, I decided that I really wanted to stick with mostly vegetarian meals because we get our meat from CSA, Meat CSA, and we have a bunch of frozen meat. And it seems silly to spend money, extra money on meat. And also when I was looking through the menu, um, the vegetarian meals all sounded really tasty. So that's what I did. I did get one thing. So the first one is chicken sausage cavatappi bolognese. And it looks like you have this recipe card. It has sort of the prep time and the time it's gonna to take, total time it's gonna to take to cook. There's um, nutrition information. So that's very cool of all the products that you're gonna get. And then on the back, it looks like just kind of very cool recipe card that has step-by-step -step on how to pull together your meal, the ingredients, what you need to get from your kitchen. Um, so that's really pretty. I could see if I were getting a lot of these meals, I might save these in a binder um, and make them, you know, without necessarily getting the meals again, I could just go to the grocery store and buy these. I got this lemon tortellini, tortelloni, Palermo. Um, this is another one of the vegetarian ones. And will this one get wrecked? Because it was 
stuck to the top of this insulation. Um, but apricot, almond, and chickpea tagine, which I was pretty excited about. And then, now I already kind of know about sort of what these look like. These are all in separate bags for each meal, which is pretty great. And the things that needed to be refrigerated the most were at the bottom of the box um, next to some ice packs in there. So we got this tortelloni for the pasta dish. And we have sweet Italian chicken sausage for the cavatappi. So I don't know which one to make today, but we have rice for lunch. So I think the tagine I will do for another meal. Um, I think I'm thinking tortelloni, I mean fresh pasta. How can you go wrong? All right, so I'm gonna put all this away and get what I need to cook, and we will make this recipe now. Okay, so we're ready to cook. We're cooking the lemon tortelloni Palermo. And I got together all the things I told us to get together um, as far as tools we would need. Um, we do need a few pantry ingredients, so you need salt, pepper, olive oil, and butter. So those are normal pantry things that most people would have, so they don't include those. And I haven't actually opened the bag yet to see all the stuff that comes with the kit. Um, I have my water going just so that it's ready when I want it to go. And I have my oven set to 400 degrees. It seems like we're gonna roast some red peppers in there. And I put the rack at the top level. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing we are going to do is get the red pepper ready to go and put that in the oven. So let's... I'm guessing we're gonna find a red pepper in here. We got scallions, this red pepper, this little cute little tiny lemon. We have a small bag of Parmesan cheese. It's like one of those um, grab bags you buy at the flea market. I don't know if it's kind of fun. It's bringing back a little nostalgia for me. Um, one tomato, a tiny little thing of cream cheese, and a little tiny little thing of sour cream. So I'll put that bag over here. I will say at, at first review, all of this produce looks pretty good. It looks pretty fresh and, and nice, and I picked this myself, which I were at the store, so that's good news. And like I said, it came yesterday. It's been in the fridge for a day in the bag, so it looks pretty good. So the Piping hot. It's really darn good. All right, this is a winner. I love this. I was a little worried that there was going to be too much lemon zest because we've made a dish before here where we added too much lemon zest and it tasted like cleaner. But nope, this tastes great. Um, it's, the scallion gives it this nice oniony flavor and the tortelloni are cooked really well and they're really nice and cheesy and the sauce is rich and creamy. This is super great. Um, I think the only thing I'd probably do differently if I made this myself was maybe add a little bit of crushed red pepper because I do like a little spice in my pasta. But overall, this is awesome. Um, I am going to serve up another bowl for Sean. We're going to go eat dinner, and then I'm going to come back and give you my whole review on what I thought about HelloFresh, the box I got, the first meal we cooked, and I'll also talk a little bit about 
the process of ordering on HelloFresh because I thought that was pretty nice. And I want to talk to you a little bit about that process as well. So see you in a few minutes. Hey guys, so we just finished dinner. We still have dishes to do, but I figured that I would hop back on and give you a review of my first impressions of HelloFresh after we made our first meal. Um, but first I kind of want to talk a little bit about the process of choosing meals and when I first signed up, um, how that process went, because I actually think it was really cool. Um, so when I went through and signed up for HelloFresh, they give you this little quiz and they ask you a little bit about sort of your preferences and your needs from a meal. So whether you're vegetarian, are you trying to be healthy, um, and that sort of thing. And you choose just, it's just a few questions and you answer them. And then once you answer the questions and you sign up, they recommend you your first meals. So we got three meals, six servings. So they defaulted me to three meals, but I could go and choose. So there was about a dozen other options that I could choose from. Some of them were a little bit of an upsell. I remember there was a steak option that was like $5.99 more serving. Um, and there were a few like that. I don't remember all of them. But there are probably about five or six other options that didn't cost any extra and that I could change my, my default uh, meals to. So like I said, I did choose mostly to go the vegetarian route, again, because we have the meat in our freezer, but also because the vegetarian meals actually sounded the most flavorful and they all had a little bit of um, international flavor to them, flavor profile, um, which I was really drawn to. So I went through and I changed two of the three of the options that they gave me. They also had some options for other add-ons. So they had an option that you could get a little kit to make a sandwich if you wanted a lunch kit and some dessert options and that sort of thing. So that was pretty cool if you're looking to kind of round out another couple of meals from your delivery. Um, as far as price goes, when I was talking to Sean about the pricing um, as we were eating dinner, he kind of got to, well, you know, this is probably worth about $5 a serving. Um, and that's what I got it for. My promo code was a really great deal and so it was a big percentage off of the regular price. So the regular price, I believe, is about $60 for what we got. And I got it for about $30. Um, so I would agree with him for us specifically. We already go grocery shopping and have a full pantry. We have our meat stocks. We cook. And I love the grocery store. So the extra convenience charge of the meals just isn't worth it for us most of the time. I will say for us, there's a couple of scenarios I think it'll be really awesome. One is when we're traveling, it will be really nice to come home to a delivery of HelloFresh or a meal service because then we could come home, we're usually jet lagged, we don't have to worry about grocery shopping or figuring out what to eat. Our fridge is always bare after that. So that would really be helpful in that scenario. So I could see us after a trip having a HelloFresh delivery to come home to. The other place where I thought for us it would be awesome would be camping. So when we go camping, um, we do love to cook, but often it's just like we gotta fill our entire cooler with all of our pantry ingredients, which means we're taking a whole giant bottle of ketchup and a whole giant thing of sour cream where these little kits were just like so small and compact they would fit so nicely in a cooler i could see us just kind of stocking up like three of those meals for a weekend it would be super easy and tasty because it was delicious it was a really delicious meal um the flavors were really pronounced and strong and bold and i was really impressed by whoever made these recipes kind of came up with these really bold flavors with just a few ingredients you saw that we only had a handful of prep to do um and so that was that was really surprising and great it was funny because sean also said that he would put fresh red pepper in um if it were him or he said, if you were making this recipe, you would put fresh red pepper in. So 
Um, that was kind of funny. Yeah, I agree. It could have used a little spice, but that's my own palate. Overall, totally tasty meal. Um, the other thing I think was really nice about HelloFresh um, was their packaging, their branding overall. I mean, we did have that one recipe card that got ripped. But other than that, the recipe cards were awesome. They would be super helpful to anyone starting cooking, um, starting to learn how to cook. They would, because they show visually each step of the way, and you would know if you're in the right track, and you would learn skills over time as a new cook. So I thought that was really great. Um, and I do think that the price for some people makes a lot of sense. $10, which is the normal price per serving, um, would be comparable to kind of some crappy takeout. So to get a really good meal, yes, you have to do a little bit of work to get it. Someone's not making it for you. But to get a really nice, delicious, well-rounded meal for $10, that's still a very good bargain. So while I don't think it's for us most of the time, um, I do think it is a, it, it was great, it was delicious, and I would definitely recommend people check it out, especially if you get a really great promotional code. Overall, I'd say I'd love to try another meal kit just because it was pretty fun. The whole process of selecting my meals and reading through the different recipes they offer was really fun. Getting something in the mail to unbox is always fun. So if you have any ideas for meal kits that you like or recommend, put them in the comments below. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to be starting to drop new videos every Friday at 1145 Eastern Time. But if you don't want to remember that, subscribe and hit that bell button so that you'll be alerted when they go live. Thanks so much for watching. Now go have some fun in the kitchen.